Next up on the Mutual Audio Network, fiction from our future. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. Lightning Bolt Theater of the Mind, in association with Strange Company Presents, Bleeding of the Hedges, Arc 1, The City of Roses, written by Carol Foley. Why would she do this? She's an old monster. An old survivor of the days when to consume your enemy was to take their strength. Is that why she took your eyes? Yes. It wasn't until afterwards that she realized I didn't see the future with my eyes. I see in my dreams. So she keeps you around? I'm like the mirror on the wall. I tell her what she wants to hear. I know who she needs for the power she wants. Why me? You don't know. No! Please, why did she take me? Because I told her to. No! No! Why would you do this to me? Did you tell her about these other prisoners too? Some of them. We all had to be here for this to happen. What? She's going to kill me, right? No, you're going to kill her. <laughs> Hello, my little beasts. Ah, E.G., I see you are trying to make friends. Yes, mistress. Don't get too attached. I'm hungry. No, mistress, not yet. Why not? Others are coming for her. I see five. Four men and a goddess. A goddess? Yes, my lady. Anarisha. Traveling with a wizard. The other three are not with And me why yet. do I need the girl alive? The Arisha can sense her. She must stay alive. You've bought yourself time, child. You're a monster. You're just as bad as she is. I'm not quite there yet. I stole the key to your cage. There's a city just down the road from here. It's where Damiana's teachers go to hide their habits. Nuns with habits. That's actually funny. <laughs> I'm too sophisticated for puns. It seems likely that we're looking for the same girl. Tell me. You think she'll be able to help our people? Look, the kid is not just your run-of-the-mill fawn. She was raised by humans. As far as it goes for the Fae, she may as well have been raised by wolves. What's that supposed to mean? She doesn't really fit in on either side. She doesn't know the significance of what she is or who she is. Whether she realizes it or not, she clearly is significant. For months now, this entire city and the surrounding counties have suffered a brutal drought. Betting that was around the time she was sent to her new school. Now she's taken right out from under your nose, and it suddenly pours down rain. And storms with a vengeance? It's no wonder my pack sent me to find her. She's just a scared little girl. But she is so much more than that. Her potential it's is... more than you know. She thinks I'm just a cheery little friend. I think you're a furry little pest. I'm actually working for her father. I'm a footman to the king of the summer court, Pan himself. So why are you here? To watch her, to be her father's eyes and ears. I smell asphalt. The city is right up ahead. So, do you have a name? Or are you just a what you, a, 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 a what you mean? And, and yes, I have a name. You can call me Ariana. We knew your sort. That's, that's, that's not your real name now, is it? It's real enough. You're drunk. Or maybe drunk, but you're, 
Ugh. <laughs> Let's get you to a hotel. I think I saw one up the road. Give me your keys. That's not gonna happen. You're in no shape to drive. And you're in no shape to box. We'll walk. Fair enough. So why are you following me anyways? We're looking for the same thing. This girl could be a warning of things to come. What do you mean? She's just a kid. She's more than that. She's significant. Even if she doesn't know it. Makes you wonder though, doesn't it? Wonder what? Why they left? I mean, she's like the first hint of fairy folk in about a thousand years, right? Left. Pardon? You're right, but turn left. Eh, uh, right. So, why now? Or eight years ago? I mean, the girl's in a friggin' Catholic school in a time where the closest thing to fairies is to... to... tink... tinkable. You mean Tinkerbell. And I'd like to know that, too. Her appearance is a bit overt. Usually, the fair folk had a hint of subtlety before they raise a village to the ground. Think it's the queen acting up? No. She's in the wild hunt, not a helpless child. Mm, probably. So what's your deal anyways? I mean, how did you know where I would be? It's part of my job description. I watch the world. Sounds invasive. So why me? Because. It's supposed to be you. Devlin. Devlin. It's time to wake up. Ugh. Gods. What time is it? Five-ish. I'll let you sleep in. Ugh. Five-ish? Wait, wh- Why are you in my room? Where's my clothes? You were drenched when we checked in last night. And one room was cheaper than two, so we shared the room. We didn't, uh, you know. <laughs> Did we? <laughs> What's so damn funny? <laughs> oh, nothing. Your clothes should be dry. I'll meet you downstairs so you can change. Still don't see what's so damn funny. I smell something strange here, I'm telling ya. There are lots of smells here, Marcus. Mm, watch it, old man. I know what I'm talking about. Watch your tone with me. And maybe you should watch yours. Come on, guys. Keep it together. We still have a long way to go. And put those teeth away. We're in a city. I'm sure a wolf fighting a bear would raise some eyebrows. Oh, and a monkey riding an emu won't? Come to think of it, why isn't anybody noticing you? Must be the necktie. Or the ability to make yourself visible to only those you want to see you. Or that. Is that woman waving at us? I hope so. She's running right toward us. She's running towards me. You're an old man, and you're a sideshow attraction. Hello there. We've been waiting for you. And I've been waiting for you. Marcus. You can see me? Of course I can. And may I say that is a lovely necktie. Well, I like her. Let's keep her. You said we. I only see you. Oh, yes. My good friend will be down in a moment. Is she as beautiful as you? He's not unattractive, but I don't think beautiful is quite Wait, the word I use. you left me with the bill. I don't have money. <laughs> of course you don't. Why would someone traveling to an unknown destination carry money around with them? Maybe we should get going. And who are you? Who the hell are you? And in this moment, a triangle of three is formed. A powerful number among mythos. A mage, a wizard, a warrior, and a guardian. A man, a wolf, and a bear. The three of them gently guided by my own divine hand. And Vagos, of course. 
If you produce audio dramas, it obviously isn't to become rich and famous. You love the medium, and you want to share your passion for theater of the mind. The Mutual Audio Drama Network is looking for you. Mutual presents audio dramas every day of the week, each with its own genre. Mystery, sci-fi, comedy, horror, all reaches of the imagination. It doesn't matter if you produced your shows years ago or are still cranking them out. Share them on the world's largest collection of modern audio drama and audio fiction. Give a listen at MutualAudioNetwork.com. And if you'd like to be a part of the excitement, with free access to all sorts of voices, sound effects, music, and more, just drop a line to mutualaudio at gmail.com. The Mutual Audio Drama Network. Why not join us today?